Today in the galley, we're at Point Loma Seafoods down here in San Diego, right next to H&M Landing in the Point Loma area. Standing next to me is Tim. Thanks for having us down, Tim. Nice to see you, Dan. Glad and you came in. Tim's going to help us out today for today's episode. We want to show you how to cook up one of these crabs that we're catching today's fishing trip. And uh, how do you guys do it here at Point Loma Seafood? Well, it's real simple. We just got a pot on in the back, a little bit of salt. We'll grab a live crab out of the tanks and uh, take it back there and put it under. All right, cool. And these are Dungeness crabs, right? These are live Dungeness. We bring these in from, uh, from Washington and Alaska. Uh, we fly them in two or three times a week. Uh -huh. And uh, that gives us the option to cook fresh crabs every day. So cool. Well, where we're fishing today is up in Central California, but we got a bunch of those uh, cooked yeah. up. Yeah, right, that's cool. great. Well, let's go in the back and see how you do it. Okay, it's a real simple process. We have our salted uh, pot of water boiling heavily right now. Uh, we're going to put the crabs in, and then uh, we're going to wait for a 12 to 13 minute reboil, and they'll be ready to roll. So when you say reboil for the water to get back to a boiling yeah, temperature? Yeah, we have to wait for it to come back to a boil and then we'll start our timer. Okay. So we're now we're at our uh, 13 minute mark. We take them uh, direct from the pot and we put them in our ice water. That firms the meat and cools the crab so it stops cooking immediately. We sit it in there for about 20 minutes as a rule. Now that the crab is cooled down, we're ready to crack it up for you. So initially what we do is we pull this top shell and discard, and then we take out the mandibles, we pull off the gilts on either side, and then we take out the uh, innards here in the middle. Once this is all done, I usually take it over to the sink here, and we give it a rinse. I rinse it off here real quick. Okay, after it's rinsed out, we just take and we snip off each of the legs, like so, on either side. And put those aside, and then the body, the way we prep it, we cut the body in half, and then to make it really easy to eat, we go in between each leg and almost all the way through, and that way it's really easy to get at. And I'll show you when I'm done. Also, when you're ready to eat, it just comes apart like so, and oh. you have access to all that body meat. And then each, each of the legs will take, and they have three sections, so we try to stand it upright like so, and then if you just pop it like that, and that way it stays nice and together so you don't have a bunch of smooshed oh, meat. Uh, you can eat it with either cocktail sauce or a Louis sauce or lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, usually these are so good they sure don't need a whole lot with them. <laughs> Well, thanks for showing our viewers how to yeah. cook up. We're catching a lot of these Dungeness crabs today, and now they're going to know what to do with them. Yeah, this is great. This is one of my favorite meals by far. If you're uh, not available to go out and catch your own Dungeness crab, come down here at Point Lemon with Seafood. They've got lots of live ones there, and the guys will be able to cook this up for you, serve it to you, and just go ahead and eat it. Watch all the boats come in right here at H&M Landing. Yeah, it's a lot of we fun. Go. We cook them daily, so... You can't go wrong. We take them live out of the tanks. All right, well, thanks again, Tim. Thank you. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.